is up Raider Nation, it's your boy Samuel Raider back at it again with another video. Today is the first episode of Hard Knocks in my show, The Hard Knock Life, where I go over everything that went on during the show. But you know, it was really exciting to finally see the Raiders on Hard Knocks. I was really excited to see them and it was entertaining. You can't lie that this show was actually really entertaining. They went over so many things that I'm happy that they did. And it was just entertaining just to see the behind the scenes. Before I go over everything that, you know, I wanna go over. If this is the first time you guys are watching me and you're not subscribed already, then please hit that subscribe button hit that notification icon button just so you guys can be notified when I upload more videos just like this one because I'm gonna be coming out with a recap after every single show every single week and I'm gonna be coming out with way more content uh, for games highlights and everything the whole nine yards so if you're a Raider fan and like I said you're not followed already then what are you guys doing? <laughs> Follow the channel. So Hard Knock starts off, uh, I watched it when uh, they started going over DC's family time. You know, they were going over just DC at his own home and it was pretty cool to see uh, Derek Carr behind the scenes with his own family. AB shows up to Napa Valley in his hot air balloon. Obviously he always comes in in style. I know you guys already seen the video of him doing that. You know, float like a butterfly, sting like AB. So, you know, he had to come out in style cause you know, that's Mr. Mr. Big Chest. I know this is only the first episode and I know a lot of people thought that Antonio Brown was gonna be the star of the show, but the person that I didn't expect to be the star of the show was actually Jonathan Abram. I was actually entertained a lot by Jonathan Abram and his whole journey throughout Hard Knocks from getting to training camp uh, with him coming in with a whole grip of candy, you know? <laughs> he was stacking up on some candy, you know? He has that sweet tooth to his interaction with all the other players and just his interaction with John Gruden himself, man. I loved it. This guy wants to hit already and they're not even in pads. I mean, we already knew coming into the draft that he was a trash talker. The fact that he comes in here and he's such a big character, in the first episode itself is really it's really great to see and i can't wait to see him play on the field because you see the urge that he has wanting to hit players on the offensive side and you know obviously we can't do that and john gruden got on him for that as you guys can see right here i don't want to see any fucking collisions in shorts so can i do it tomorrow I don't want to see any of my guys get laid. Out. Man, I just love that interaction from him and John Gruden. I thought it was really great to see that. And Jonathan Abram, man, I think stole the show. I think he's the MVP of this show, of the first episode of Hard Knocks. Another thing that I really liked seeing was John Gruden already you know confronting the whole team that there will be no rookie hazing because he wants everybody to be respectable you know the team is going in a different direction they want a lot of high character players on here they don't want the rookies feeling less than anybody else and jonathan abram was one guy that did bring that up he hates being called a rook he doesn't like being called a rookie he wants to be called first year player which i really i really respect that and that's another reason why i like jonathan abram especially in this show so far another thing that i caught was the interaction with james jones and Antonio Brown on the sideline talking about Derek Carr and the whole story that James Jones had about his first year with the Raiders especially because that was Derek Carr's first year in the league he talked about you know he called him baby A-Rod he's seen a lot of intangibles from Aaron Rodgers inside of Derek Carr especially for his first year and he talked about the whole Matt Schaub Derek Carr thing you know they were saying that Matt Schaub's gonna be the star be the star then he brought up the Seattle Seahawks game in the preseason where Derek Carr just went off in that game threw like three touchdowns in the first half Every Every day they came in, Matt Shaw, the God, Matt Shaw, the God, like we all looking at <laughs> and moving on we do see a clip of cleveland farrell and jonathan abram having some kind of you know rookie connection riding horses together at napa which is pretty funny in itself you know they got the horses in the back you know might as well ride it down napa valley so we do address the issue with ronald ali and why he got cut he basically pulled himself out of practice due to an achilles injury then he misses a meeting with a trainer and that wasn't a good sign for you know john gruden and the team and John Gruden wasn't having it. He said, you know what, we're gonna cut him. If he's not gonna be here for practice and not even go see the training staff, then they might as well cut him. And they cut him real quick and brought in Ethan Westbrook, who rocked his number later in the video, which was an ugly number if you guys ask me. 63, who's gonna wanna rock that number? Nobody. But that's pretty crazy to see, you know, it, it was quick. It was just like that. And a lot of players didn't see it coming, not even the Raider Nation. Especially for a player like this, he can't he can't put himself at risk of getting let go. Even with an Achilles injury, he has to go see the staff, to see the training camp, do whatever he has to do to, you know, see what's going on and not miss anything. Obviously, it was his last chance and he got cut. Richie Incognito was another guy that a lot of people wanted to see, especially me, and see how he would fare besides a lot of other players on the team. And so far with his interactions, he looks like a stand-up guy. He looks like a 
guy that's just enjoying everything, being a Raider, interacting with a lot of other players like Gabe Jackson, uh, a a B. His interaction with Antonio Brown was really cool to see, you know, two big high character players interacting and just having fun, you know, talking about the team, being on a team. And obviously we all know that Richie Incognito is going to be out for two games, but I'm not really going to sweat it. You know, he really looks like a solid offense alignment for this team and the veteran leadership that he could bring to this team, I think is second to none. Man, I'm excited to see our whole offensive line. They are they're all giants and they even addressed it in the show they do go over cliff branch and his passing and you know uh give a little moment to acknowledge cliff branch and, and what he's done for the team i know that happened just a couple of days ago but the fact that they put it in the show i thought was really cool to see man they did a really cool remix to the autumn wind they they kind of took it back and then brought in the little remix and i thought it was pretty cool to see with all the new players that are on the team right now man it just brought that mystique back you know we're the new and improved raiders and hopefully hopefully this year is the year that the raiders make a change and you know step up and show out you know and show the league that we're here to play but my biggest takeaway from this whole show would be jonathan abram and his whole character and his whole energy that you've seen throughout the show man it got me so pumped and i was really entertained seeing him interact with so many different players from having dinner with Derek carr he had a few funny moments with that you know talking with Derek Carr interacting with his other teammates to having that altercation with John Gruden was pretty funny to see and seeing him trying to hit a lot of players I think he should keep it down just a bit we don't want to injure any players and I know that's what John Gruden said from that to even going out and riding horses with Cleveland Farrell in Napa Valley I thought was pretty funny this show I thought was really fun to see really fun to watch we're gonna get a lot more in the the future episodes but this was the first episode of a hard knock life recapping the first episode of hard knocks next episode we're going to be looking forward to that joint practice with the la rams i can't wait to see how everything's going to go down especially how jonathan abram's going to interact with a lot of players from a different team maybe he's going to start a fight i don't know i, I didn't think that abrams would be the person that would start a fight but just seeing him from the first episode i could kind of see tensions rising if you know it gets kind of heated next week against the rams but all in all, Raider Nation, that's all I wanted to go over. What do you guys think about the first episode of Hard Knocks? Did you guys enjoy it? Man, let me know down in the comments below. I would like to hear you guys' feedbacks. And like I said, if you enjoyed the show, then please hit that thumbs up button. I would gladly appreciate it. And like I said, if this is the first time you're watching this video, then what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification icon button. Just to notify you guys when I upload more videos just like this. And with that said, it's your boy, Simone Raider. And your boy is... Yeah! <laughs>